Say the thing. Someone say it. Welcome to the YouTube channel video. We are That's on the YouTube. Intro. Oh, I don't watch your videos. What's up, Nikki Snot Green fam? It's your boy, Nikki Snot, back at it again with another prank video. I'm gonna go and slash my neighbor's tires. What? Well, you got it good, but if my you spoke, pronounced my name wrong. Oh, is it like Nikki? Nick is. Nickus. Um, Hi, everybody. It's Nickus Not Green. Happy, Happy Monday. Monday. Happy Monday. We're back with another food video. And today we want to answer the age old question Will it freeze? Let's talk about that. It sounds like you're reading from a script. <laughs> See the script, it's yeah. right there. It's a he, he had to tape up his lines. It's kind of yeah, embarrassing. Never... Everyone's walking around and they're going, Hey, you gotta try this food, but frozen. You hear? <laughs> you hear? <laughs> Who can relate? A lot of times people are like, Oh, you like this snack, but have you had it frozen, right? A lot of people do, yeah. Yeah, and so like today yeah. we're gonna put that to the test. What? Oh, by the way, today we have our first in person collab with YouTuber and Pokemon person, Twitch streamer, Elsie Fisher. Hey! And my other guest, who is an actor and... Watch out, I'm Mickey, baby! Film junkie, Twitch streamer, Jarvis Johnson. Hey! It's me. Yeah, we have an audience today for the first time. This is a live recording. Let's get to the video. But not before this sponsor segment. I hope you can hear. The crickets are... Stop! Hey guys, stop. Hey everyone, today's sponsor, Casetify. Guys, Casetify's cases are slim and protective. Check out my favorite one that I got here. It's a frog, a frog cowboy. And now I have the coolest phone case out of anyone I know. Casetify let me know that their impact cases are engineered with a two layer protection of Chi Tech technology. And they're drop test approved for drops up to 6.6 .6 feet for your impact cases and 9.8 feet for your ultra impact cases. They come with tons of designs like the ones I'm about to show you here. This case is a really cool like lava lamp kind of case and it says stinky on it because I'm stinky. And this case says barf on it. And for my germaphobes out there, Case Defy's antimicrobial coating keeps your cases germ free, killing up to 99% of bacteria. And guess what? You know something I care a lot about on this channel? Saving the earth. Their impact and ultra impact cases are made of 50% recyclable material. Guys, I put my phone in one of Case Defy's ultra impact cases, which means it can drop from up to 9.8 feet, which means we're gonna do exactly that in today's Nick Drop test. I need to come up with a better name for it. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't want to drop it. It's going to make a loud noise. Okay, ready? E. Go! Go! There's no damage on the outside. You see, there's no scratches. I was afraid there were going to be scratches. No scratching on the back. Look at that art. I've shown you guys the proof. Now go to casetify.com slash Nick is not green to get 15% off your order. We found a list online of the best foods that are best frozen. And we went through them and got the best ones. And we will be testing them out today and then giving them a score. And the weirdest ones. And the weirdest ones. Cringe. Cringe Cringular. fail freeze. Yeah. Jarvis, go grab our first frozen food. <laughs> Can I get a little please? Please, can you grab the first one? Yeah, person? of course I'll do it. You know, just, I just, you know, I don't want it to no, seem like you're get it to me. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of, kind of cancel. I'll get it though, anything for you, but. He really is a good guy. First up, Ooh. we have a oh. chocolate treat that's too cool to beat. It's the pieces that are the talk of all of the feces. <laughs> we want to start a little simple with uh, good old fashioned Reese's peanut butter cup. Mmm. Mmm, good dinner. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. So what do we expect? What do we expect? Has anyone actually had one of these frozen before? I have oh, had nice. one thawed, but never frozen. But before we eat, we're gonna each be rating them and I will be writing them down and then at the end we will have a whole ranked. We should each have a different scale. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I'm just trying to say that. Mmm. It's got a great mm. mouthfeel. It does have a good mouthfeel. My initial thoughts are that 
It's not as like it's kind of just a regular Reese's cup. There's yeah. Something about the peanut butter though. They managed yeah. to make it like freeze dried peanut butter. When it's warm, it's definitely not as good. I think it's a little bit elevated. If I were to eat these again, I'd stick them in the freezer because I'm not a big Reese's cup guy, mm. and I think it's because they're very gooey and soft, and mm -hmm. I think this would solve my problem. I'm gonna give it three and a half stars out of five. I'm gonna give it like six and a half fingers. A lot of people don't count a thumb as a finger. So. That's true. Five fingers and two thumbs. So a six? So a six? That's what I said. I think I give it a 65%. Oh, okay. I'm kind of bougie. I'm more of like a, like a dark chocolate sunflower butter cup mm, enjoyer. Right, right. Um, so I've mostly only had these at like hot gas stations and I feel like yeah. having the opposite sensation in my mouth has been a really good experience as you can tell by the fact that I finished it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I did finish mine too, so. Yeah. It wasn't bad, it was good. Reese's Cups are just good, so I was gonna finish it. There's our first food. Jarvis, go fetch the next one. Uh, don't say it like that. Yeah, you can say it a little, you can say it please a little louder, just so that people don't get the idea that that's how you talk to me in private. Jarvis, please, can you please get the next, can you please do get the next one? Of course, dude. Thanks. You didn't even have to say please. This guy's so cool. I'm just trying to appear. Chill it, cool cool and relatable yeah. and like everything just like rolls off of me, but actually I've heard when you don't say please. Uh, this next treat sticks to you like tape and it's for heroes, but you don't have to wear a cape. It's a grape. It's a grape, everybody. Aww. These are big grapes. Yeah, yeah these big, are pretty big grapes. Big where, grapes. Did, where did you <laughs> find these grapes? Grapes are one that got a lot of suggestions from, you know, the you, you folks back at home. If you're gonna go in the comments and say, Mm, you guys should have done this or that. I asked you and I didn't use all of them. So you could possibly say that if you did ask me, but we did all the cool ones. Don't ask us about Thin Mints. We know what they taste like. This thing. I feel like I should break it open like yeah, I'm gonna egg. try to, I'm gonna mm. bite it with the side of my teeth. I'm worried I would like chip it. Why do people put this in the freezer? Mm. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Um. It's a lot of it turning to ice, which I think is the water that fills the fruit, which wouldn't like necessarily- Like a icy, like a frosty vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like grapes normally? And what what has changed? Flip and love grapes. Yeah, um, these are pretty good. This would slow me down. It's like a little, I would get a brain freeze, mm -hmm. I think. So for that reason, I'm giving this four and a half fingers. I have very similar thoughts. I think my favorite part about a lot of fruits and vegetables is you know, the juice inside. I love popping cherry tomatoes in my mouth and feeling them burst in between my teeth and have the juice go everywhere. It feels like a deeper yeah, desire that's... that you have. That feels yeah. like- No, it's just the taste and the juice. And I love the same thing about grapes. And when I bite into a grape, I don't want this like constant bite down like I'm biting through a lasagna or something. The taste is fine. It's got that weird icy thing. I would much rather just have a nice grape in the summertime, rinse off, maybe a little bit chilled, but like I want that pop factor. I want it to be juicy. I can't tell if these grapes are, are really ripe or if they're really not ripe or if they're really whatever. I'm gonna give the grape a three point one point seven five out of five stars. Okay. It doesn't do anything for it. And I can't imagine someone being like, time to eat my grapes and pull out this thing. Yeah. And then also they're slowly thawing as you're eating them. So like they're gonna have that weird thing where some of these start really frozen and then you get to just these really cold grapes with yeah. like frost inside. Yeah. I don't I'm a grape enjoyer. I think this could be improved. I don't know. I think I would give this a 50 personally. Okay, let's get these things out of our sight. <sighs> the next snack is forgotten. Some may call it a lost art for today. We'll be chomping down a frozen pop tart. Oh! Whoa. Wow, guys, look at this. We went to ranker.com to see everyone's favorite pop tart flavor, and we decided to go with that one so we wouldn't have annoying people in the comments complaining about which one we got. So today, we're going to be going with the brown sugar flavor. Yes. That's everyone's mm. favorite? Yes, I, 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 thought, strawberry. I thought it was gonna be strawberry. I'm sorry guys, but yeah, I, strawberry, strawberry is sure. my favorite. Dude, how is that one? It doesn't even look like it's frosted or anything. It just looks <laughs> it's, straight it's a like naked tan. pop tart. Yeah. yeah. I Maybe. think if nothing was a flavor. I prefer them not only room temp, but I prefer them toasted. I like them warm, you know? Mm. A little bit chewy. I'm not seeing the vision here. Yeah, there's like not really much of a difference. I'm just thinking and I'm like, it downgrades every good part of a Pop-Tart. Yeah, the only <laughs> way I would see this being an upgrade is if you did one of the flavors that sounds weird warm, 
like chocolate sundae. Yeah, I'm just gonna call this one a three and a half stars. I would rather have a frozen pop tart than a frozen grape. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna do the same score. I think I'm gonna do a, a 1.75 stars. Wow. Like, out of five. I'm not a massive Pop Tart enjoyer. They're a little too sweet for me. This is like a like a 20, 25% for me. I don't hate it, but I would just never ever do this. And it's actually like really gross and <laughs> yeah. it's like not good. Oh, Jarvi. This next snack, it's iceberg lettuce. I don't have a rhyme. Why was iceberg lettuce <laughs> on there? Oh, Why, who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> well, let's read straight from the article. Freezing amplifies iceberg's crisp coolness, <laughs> making it an even better match for creamy <laughs> dressings like ranch and blue cheese. Uh, yeah, we've been having fun and games up until right now, but apparently this is a, a crisp treat for us to, to cleanse the palate. Ah. Oh. Horrible mouthfeel. It just melts in your mouth immediately. It Which like, sounds like a good thing, but like it trusts us it's not. It wants to be ice and it just can't. But it's bitter ice. Need bitter yeah. ice, yeah. I just don't see a single way that this would help because it's like it already has the firmness to dip it into things, so it doesn't need that. Yeah. It, the also, salad it's just is cold. dipping lettuce into stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna give this one thumb and I know it looks like one thumb up, but remember my scale and my thumb counts as half a finger, so that's 0. 0.5. I'm gonna give mine a 0.25 stars out of five. That's pretty generous. Um. Oh, hey. I, I'm back, I've got another snack. Mm. In the old days, I'd offer you a free mug of beer, but oh. today all I've got is a free Musketeers. Hey, free mug of oh, beer. Oh, hello. Free Musketeers. Three Musketeer, a classic nougat snack. It's sort of like your Snickers, but without much of the inside. So it's like, so here's it's how like I think about it. Snickers, but worse. The reason why we chose Three Musketeers as opposed to other candy bars is because a lot of the candy bars like Twix are, are a little bit tougher on the inside because of the wafer. Yeah. But since this is something that, you know, is a very soft inside, we wanted to get something that was very different opposed to the regular candy. Awesome. Here we go. Oh, oh. no. Oh. oh, oh, oh no, that's not happening. I got strong teeth. I had braces for two years. I'm not risking, I'm not risking it all for this fucking two musketeers. Lots of thoughts running through my mind. It was the hardest thing we had to eat yet. It was tough. It was tough. Like it felt like a fucked up saltwater taffy. But the taste wasn't bad. And it, it takes longer to get through. So your cost effectiveness might be a little bit better. That's true, that's true. I think if you have the molars to do so, it is an effective option. You know what? I actually do think it makes the taste better because the nougat is so soft. Mm. No one wants just nougat. And this makes it feel like there's some something yeah. in there. I'm gonna have to disagree. Um, I can imagine maybe refrigerating it for a little long, like a little bit to give it a little bit of bite, bite back. Uh -huh. But this is too much. I'm gonna like break off a tooth. So how many thingies are we talking? Three and a half for me, for moi. I'm gonna go with a three, a three stars out of five. You know, I think it elevates it just a little bit. If it were me, I think I would toss that baby in the freezer if I wanted to make it taste a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, I give it like a 56. I probably would never buy this at the store anyways, yeah. but Halloween comes around. I gotta steal half of my little brother's candy. Nick, that's course. gonna be... It's time for the next one. We got avocado slices. Who thought that was a good idea? The avocado that we got was not the ripest, but I believe it will still, you know, work for. Yeah, what why don't you just for. give it a good like? Why don't you just, you know, take you know, one the apple the bite and give it a little bite? Oh, you first. Okay, now hold on. It tastes like rotten <laughs> eggs. Hold on, there's something kind of special here. The consistency is interesting. It's bad. Oh, this is terrible. But it's food for thought. This is the worst thing <laughs> yeah, we've had about... so far to the point where I gave my other thing, what, a 0. 0.5? <clears throat> it for... tastes like fish. It tastes like some, some... Like somehow it tastes like salmon, like bad salmon. Yeah, it tastes like something that isn't of the avocado. Now I'll this makes what. me think, yeah. is vegan sushi gonna be a thing with avocado? Cause, Cause that's... if you freeze it, you get that That's like taste. weirdly... Ah. <laughs> Hold on, hold on guys, scientific discovery. I, I'm gonna give this a... Oh, that's, oh, it's bending. It's bending, it's not even cracking. I mean, like 1%. Yeah, I would, I'm gonna give it like a no out of the fingers. So that, like, yeah, no. I, I don't think it can get worse from here. So I'm gonna just go with, I'm just gonna go with a zero, I think. We are nearing the end. 
So let's take a breather. Here is the rest of the shit that Nick put in my freezer. <laughs> These are our extras that we want to try out. Okay, let's try blueberries first, a classic snack, a good fruit of mine. They call it a super food, actually. It's one of the- Good fruit of mine. Did you say good fruit of mine? It's a good it's fruit a of mine. Everyone grab a blueberry. Mmm, here's mine. It looks like a blueberry. This is pretty, and pretty it soft. Feels as soft as a blueberry because I didn't put it in for very long. Well, yeah, it's just like a refrigerated blueberry. I mean, it's a blueberry. It's 10 not out even, of ten. I don't think we should rate these because they're not. They don't change. They, ten out of ten. No, I've I've had a couple solid ones like the grapes. You've had some frozens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm noticing already, it's like kind of difficult to enjoy a frozen snack because a lot of these things don't stay frozen for very long. Yeah, that's a big downfall. Okay. It has a lot of similar qualities to the grape, but not a as hard. A little bit better, yeah. Yeah. Not as hard, but I think that's just because I threw these in the last minute. I think they're less water filled yeah. than grapes yeah. too. Since they're yeah. Smaller. I'm gonna give it a two stars out of five. I don't think it really elevates it at all. Like I'd rather have blueberries. It just really doesn't really do much for me. I think it just makes them a little bit worse than they already are. I don't know. I would give them like a seventy five percent. Like oh. you know, if you time it out just right. Maybe you only throw a couple in there, like the grapes. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I don't know, it was it was a pleasant experience. They're not like hard and I feel like I could taste the flavor of them. On the basis that these are just blueberries, uh, but I do like blueberries, I'm gonna give this a full nine fingers. Right? Okay, wow, what a very, very high score for me. Granted, it doesn't really good. fit the criteria, so I'm kind of breaking my own rules. Okay, what do you wanna do next? I think we should do Takis. Everyone grab a little Taki. They don't taste any different because there's no water on them. So it's just like cold. They're kind of good cold. They're I won't put cold. these bad boys in the fridge. Yeah, that is kind yeah. of fun. It's Unexpected, good. yeah. I'd say it's an interesting experience enough to give it a try. So I'm going to give it 2.75 okay. out of five stars. I'm going to give it my, um, my patented score of three and one half fingers. Six. Actually, no, I, I take it back. Five, five with 5.5 five fingers. It's a little bit better than normal. I'm gonna give it a 66. That's like a, it was pretty, he died. And finally on for the docket right here, frozen watermelon chunks. There's Damn. water in the container. So it sort of freezes into a block, sort of like Minecraft. Jarvis, you want a watermelon block? Yeah, you know what? I just died for a second there, but Spicy I'm just tired you. and it's hot. You know what's good with when you're hot? Yeah. It's a very hard water. Oh, wow. This is, yeah. this has the consistency of tuna. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> ah. Ah, oh. I mean, but watermelon is very easy snack to eat on a hot summer day to refresh you. I don't feel refreshed right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this is hard. It's like a chore to eat, you know? I just feel like this is a popsicle. I'm not a big fan of it. I, I don't know. I'm not huge on it. I'm going to give it a 1.75 stars out of five. Wow. I just feel like cut into the right shape, perhaps consumed on a stick. It could be a better experience. Mm. Say, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But it's if it's a popsicle, it's just a poorly tasting popsicle, you know? It's it tastes pretty good, man. It's not gonna taste- Watermelon's pretty good, man. 45% for me. It's 45. 45, okay. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It tastes pretty oh, good. Oh, I wasn't expecting, I thought you were gonna like give it a much higher score. Yeah, I did too. No, cause <laughs> I, I would still rather eat yeah. a watermelon. I see, I see, I see. But like, this is not bad. Is the only thing that has improved the Reese's cup? What What's your score for the watermelon? Three. Jarvis, look at the lettuce. It's so nasty. Ew. It's like. It's Why like, is it like It looks that? like poo poo. Oh, it looks like. It looks like ginger. Money shot. For those who are on the social media app TikTok, apparently this has been making waves. Honey has been around for a long time, but what if you stuck it in a water bottle and froze it? Nobody's ever done that. Oh. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> what you do is I guess you pop the cap and then you squeeze it. And, and then, then it does a little yeah. honey thing. Should yeah. I do the big squeeze? Oh. Hey. Hey, that's like the, the thing. It's, it's just like, like the TikTok. Whoa. There's my honey batch. Hey, here, grab yours. It's the honey time. For the audience as well. Universal <laughs> disgust, I think was the what I would oh. say. Don't believe the hype. TikTok was lying to you. It's just honey. It's just, it's just honey. Hold on, I might felt. <laughs> um, here, let me do another one. I didn't mind it as much as everyone else, but like, I don't think it makes honey better than honey. Right? <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Stop, there's so much. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. So I'm a big honey guy and I didn't really mind that as much as everyone else hated it. Listen, 
I don't think it made honey any better, but I didn't absolutely hate it. I'm gonna give it a two stars out of five. I just don't think a person is meant to put that much honey in their mouth at once. I'm gonna give it a two fingers out of uh, the nine that I have. Like half a percent. I would rather eat the avocado than that. I'm gonna have a headache for the rest of the night. Okay, Jarvis, Ooh. bring out the final item. All right, here I go. Here comes the final item, everybody. I feel like you should say that before you, once you get get it and you're about to come out. Okay. Any other notes? Uh, here it comes, whoa. the last snack. It's back. Fruit roll ups, yeah. Here it is. Oh, okay, it's... When it was frozen really before, I yeah. broke it. And Nick it was, broke it in half and, and like it was ruined the challenge essentially. And you win. Oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> like, mm. oh, this tastes the same. I think if you freeze it normally and like wait long enough, it's like glass. Yeah, I mean, it's good, but. It tastes how it normally does. Is it worth freezing it? I would do that. Instead of putting them in my pantry, just on the off chance that I get the really cool broken glass one. I'm just gonna give it a 2.5 out of five, right down the middle. I'm gonna give it a five out of nine, which is 0.555 repeating. Um, I would give it like a 75. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. That's that's good. Now, before we get to the final results, we're going to run the numbers and clean everything up. Joe, do a cool transition here. <laughs> Okay, I have our rankings. Are you ready to hear? Right. We have 11 total things. Six of those 11 we rendered to be worse than the original item and five of those things ended up being better. First <laughs> off, a number 11, our least favorite thing was the avocado. That's clear. I would eat it again. Out of a possible score of 30, the avocado scored a 0.1. Number 10, the iceberg lettuce. That was gross. It got way grosser after it thought too. Especially. Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. Was pretty Number bad. nine, the golden boy um, would be honey. Yeah, we got, went into that with all those TikToks thinking mm -hmm. honey was actually gonna be some sort of transformative experience. Yeah, it definitely wins the award for biggest upset of the night. Number eight, the Pop-Tart, not great. No. <laughs> I mean, it, it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. <laughs> Number seven on the list, watermelon. Another another thing that I feel like was a bit of an upset. I went in expecting something refreshing and came out with something that made me feel a little squeamish. It was just hard to eat. I, I wasn't a fan. It was, it, was, it was pretty good. Well, I just think if you cut it into like spears and you pierce it. But I would rather just have a popsicle. These are the things that scored right? better. It's one of these guys then got a the halfway parts. mark <laughs> on our scale, so technically we didn't think negatively of them. Number <laughs> five is a three musketeer. A lot of nougat and a lot of promise as well. Number four is gonna be blueberries, a classic fruit that I guess we liked a little bit more while it was frozen. Number three, Takis, big surprise. I feel like all these ones I'm saying, I don't technically like them more. I'm still gonna eat them normally. I, I don't think anything changed these, my mind. These are still like around like the average score, like just slightly above. Technically earlier. on the scale, all of these are, are above half or high. Technically your mom. <laughs> Number Get two, a fruit roll up. Fruit rolls are just good, dude. And, and if you just keep it in there for longer, that might and have been number one. Eat some glass. <laughs> yeah. and number one, and the first thing we ate, and also it won by like a pretty wide margin, is a Reese's cup. That one had like real transformations that occurred during the um, the freezing process. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Elsie and Jarvis. You're welcome. For, for You're helping welcome. me out here down in Los Angeles. Uh, Friggin' dox this, dude. <sighs> Sorry. Elsie, tell us where we can find you online. Uh, Elsie K. Fisher on pretty much any social media, but uh, just Google me, man. Jarvis? You can find me at the, at the place. Go check me out everywhere. Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. Where else? We, where else? YouTube. YouTube, second channel. Discord. Discord. All the links are down below. Check me out. Ah. Ah. Yeah. This week's Gamer of the Week is Elise Potter, if you wanna be the next Gamer of the Week, just leave a freaking comment down below and subscribe and that notification bell. This is the outro song. It isn't very long. This is the second person. It's shorter than, than the first. first. Bye. Hey everyone, I cannot make outro song this week, so I hired my robot AI voice to read out some names for me.
Thank you to Nicola's Robles C. Essence Green, Melissa Gabbard, Lance Candelaria, and Elizabeth Hopper for supporting the channel as a Tier 3 patron. Also, thank you to all of the Tier 1 and 2 patrons as well. Please have a great week and stay safe. Robotnik out!